Hello everyone, happy Friday. It is November the 4th, 2022. My name is Kyle and this is Maker Notes. We have a holiday kit for you. This is da, 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 one of our favorite holiday patterns. It is ingenious, of course, from Jamie Lomax. It's called the Holiday Doodle Cowl. And what's really cool about this cowl is um, there is a variety of different motifs that you can uh, use in the pattern. And so you just choose your favorites and you mix and match whatever colors you want for those to, um, to be in. And then the other part of the cowl is just this simple little peery stitch. It is worked in the round, so it's a tube, which means there are uh, no floats to get caught on. And you finish it with a bit of Kitchener stitch joining the beginning and end together. And you can do like Kim did when she made this sample and just keep it um, in its non-twisted form. Or you can do a 180 degree twist of the tube and then reassemble it so that there's always a twist in the cowl. So this is the Holiday Doodle Cowl by Jamie Lomax and we have four different color kits for you. So um, each one of these kits uses five balls of yarn and the yarn is called Herbstwind. Herbstwind is 100% Tasmanian extra fine merino from Tasmania, uh, where, the, where the little sheep are happy. They eat really delicious grass that doesn't have pesticides on it. There aren't any bugs that, you know, to bite and bother them. So the result is a really, really wonderfully soft wool. There are 181 yards in a 50 gram ball and you like I said uh, you're going to have five balls of yarn four colorways so one of them so this one in this colorway which is jingle bells um, you'll have two balls of red. So there is the red that is your main color that would be the that background for that peery section. That's what this would be. And then there are three other colors to go with it. There is a gorgeous, beautiful green, this mossy fun green. There is this really beautiful um, sort of skyish blue and then a cream. So those four colors, let's see, can I do this? I think I can, yes. <laughs> this is the Jingle Bells colorway. So uh, check that out. We do have um, limited offering of each one of these. So there's the yarns that you're gonna get. Of course, you're gonna get the Holiday Doodle Cowl Pattern by Jamie Lomax. And as you know, if you put your Ravelry name on your order, there's a place to do that before you add, it to, add the product to your cart, um, or you can put it in your notes when you check out. If you do that, we'll add the pattern to your library. If we don't see that or you don't use Ravelry, that's not a problem at all. We just use the email that you put, uh, you use when you check out. So that's where the pattern will go to. And of course we print a copy of it as well and we'll include that with your order. Um, but also you get a da -da -da, 16 inch Cassell by Addy Rocket fixed circular needle. So you have the needle, you have the pattern, you have the yarn, all you need is a little bit of time to get it finished. So that is the Jingle Bells colorway. We're gonna move on to deck the halls. Let's deck the halls. And yeah, I know it's a little early. I know that, you know, Christmas and the, the winter holidays are a little ways away, but we need time to make things, right? So that's why we're talking about this a little bit ahead of the game so you can work on this and be able to wear it for the, uh, the whole holiday season. So this is Deck the Halls. So Deck the Halls has this really beautiful deep purple. I was talking with Ashley as we were choosing colors and Ashley uses um, purple and silver in her house when she decorates for the holidays. So there's purple. That's the main color. So you'll get two balls of the purple and then you'll get this really beautiful um, yellowish green. Looks a little more lime than what it's looking like in this pic this video here that I can see. Then there is a beautiful grayish silver color and a creamy color. So there's the cream and the silver and the green. We're gonna try to balance them again. Let's see how we can do. So whatever order we do, that is the deck the halls colorway. Beautiful, right? Then we move on to the Sugar Plum Fairy. So some of us like pink 
and pink is the main color in this one. So the Sugar Plum Fairy has pink as the main color. You'll get two balls of pink. You also will get a ball of this creamy white color. This one happens to be a creamier white color. You're gonna get a beautiful, lovely, deep red. And this sort of light gray, it leans just a little tiny bit blue. It's this really sort of dusty blue gray. So red, the grayish blue, cream, and pink. So this is Sugar Plum Fairy, Sugar Plum Fairy. The very last one is over here. A whole bunch of <laughs> yarn laying out here. It's a great place to be with a table full of yarn. This one is called Winter Wonderland. So the main color is this really beautiful blue, kind of reminds me of a cool wintry sky. Then, so you're gonna get two balls of this. Then you will get a ball of the light creamy color. You're going to get this beautiful royal blue, this fun, vibrant, deep, intense blue. And then finally, the color of Seattle, Seattle gray. It's a, kind of, it's not really, it's just gray. So this silvery gray color. So you get the silver, the deep blue, the very light blue and the white. So that light, lightish blue is that main color. That's the one that um, you'll get two balls up. So this is the Winter Wonderland colorway. And again, as I mentioned before, each of the colorways, you're gonna get the pattern and you get that fixed circular needle. We have a fixed number of these available. So if you would like to get one and craft your own holiday doodle cowl, we invite you to get that order in so that you can get started on that right away. To do, to do um, these patterns, you need to know how to do a few things like reading charts. We have a tutorial that explains how to do that. So you can watch our video um, and it goes into detail on how to navigate and read charts. Um, but there are some tools also that are really helpful. One of those is highlighter tape. So highlighter tape is this fun, um, transparent, brightly colored. So there's a green one and a bright pinky color. And it is um, has a light adhesive on the back so you can reposition it on a printed um, printout, printed printout on a, on a printed pattern and uh, move it up as you move from row to row or round to round as you go through a pattern chart. So you use a piece and then eventually it starts to get, um, lose its adhesive ability after a good while. So you toss that little bit and you use another one. So the highlighter tape is really awesome, comes in a number of colors, works really well for those printed patterns. Um, another thing that I like, one of my favorite tools, one of Kyle's picks, is the low ran board. So this is a metallic um, board that um, has three different magnets. So it has this ruler magnet and it has a couple of just little plain straight magnets down here. Actually, there's three or four of them. So there's this long one and then three other little magnets here. So you can print your pattern. And what I do usually is I will um, print the pattern and sort of fold it under and just tape that folded piece under on the back and then put a piece of tape up at the top to keep that um, paper in one position on the board. And then I'll use the ruler magnet to keep track of where I am on my, uh, on my round, on my chart. And this is indispensable, especially for larger charts, which this is not. But for larger charts, I use a few of these and um, have them going in succession. So I work across this chart and then I pick up the next one and go on and so forth. So Loran magnetic boards are available if you would like to give that a try to keep track of your, um, your stitches, what round you were on. And then the last thing that we have in the newsletter, of course, there are going to be some ends. But all the ends, except for the very last Kitchenered one, are gonna be on the inside of your project. So if you want to, some people do tie knots, you know, when they join colors or change colors. So you could tie little knots, leave those tails a little longer, and you don't even really have to weave them in um, <laughs> if you don't want to, because it's gonna be hidden on the inside, right? And those extra little, um, lengths of yarn are kind of like insulation, right? So once you get all that done, you'll need to trim those ends. And if you'd like to trim them, you can use the shortcut snips. These are from Fiskars and they have a really nice little snippy tip. 
snippy tip <laughs> that, uh, that works really well for trimming yarn ends. So you can check this out. These are from Fiskars. Um, of course, it's a name that you know and love when it comes to scissors and cutting tools. And these work uh, great for finishing. Um, and if you want to, you, of course, you weave in your ends. When you do that, you just want to take care that when you're weaving, you try to follow the same color of yarn when you're weaving it in, and you don't want that yarn to peek through the front. So that is that is a tiny little tip, which you already knew about weaving in those ends. So that's that. There are a couple other things mentioned in the newsletter, so you can check those out on uh, when you go look and scroll through that. Um, and gosh, did I just run through the whole thing? I did. That is our Friday, everyone. So this weekend, we hope that you will take time to do something creative and fun for yourself and that you take time to do something that is good for your community. If you want more makers, then we invite you to sign up for our twice a week newsletter. You get a video like this with each of the newsletters along with a lot of deals and fun. You can follow us on the Instagram and the Facebook and YouTube. And when you do that, if you subscribe to our videos on YouTube, you get a notice when these videos go live. So you get to find out just a few minutes before everyone else um, what is in the newsletter because you get to see the video before, sometimes before the newsletter has even gone all the way out. Um, and then you're the first, the very first to learn about promotions and events and more. Thanks for watching.